What's up guys, Apple Fanatic, and today I have a video of a uh, walkthrough of OS X 10.7 Lion. This is the uh, GM, or the Gold Master build, which basically means that this is pretty much what you're going to see in a couple weeks when Apple releases Lion to the uh, public. I have been on board with the Gold Master, I mean with the uh, developer builds since day one. I started on uh, DP1 and now I'm on GM. So uh, I have been with it through the good times and bad, and so far I can say that this operating system, while it might not be the most practical for business use, it is quite fun to play with, and it is quite the operating system. Uh, Windows 7, I'm going to stick by what I say, Windows is more for, um, Windows is more for the office, and Mac is more for a personal computer. OS X adds those personal touches that, you know, as an individual like, but as an office you might not typically need. But um, yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to do a walkthrough of everything. There is to talk about Alliance, so this video might be a little long. And just to show you that this thing is fact, the uh, Goldmaster, this is the build number, 11A511. This is a 2010 MacBook running 6 gigs, used to be running 8. One of the memory cards got corrupted. Uh, 2.4 Intel Core 2 Duo, this uh, runs line like a champ. Obviously, if you have a newer computer, it will run it faster. And if you have a 2008, 2007-2008, you're going to be able to run it, no problem, but it might be buggy, uh, laggish at sometimes. Uh, my best bet is just upgrade to 4 gigs of RAM and try to upgrade your hard drive the best you can. Maybe to a 7200 RPM to make, uh, make this cat purr. So uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is Launchpad. So um, there are two ways to access the Launchpad with a th uh, three finger and thumb uh, push in on your mag on your trackpad, whether it be a uh, Magic Trackpad or a uh, built-in one to your MacBook. You just go like that. You really can't see, and it will open up Launchpad. Or you can just go ahead and over here you can click Launchpad. And basically, this is an application folder um, that where all your applications are stored, much like um, your Springboard on OS X for your i I mean uh, iOS for your iPad or iPod Touch or iPhone. As you can see, all my apps are up here. You got the little notifications if you have um, an app that needs to be updated or what have you. Um, so as you can just take a quick glance, I will tell you in fact that all of my apps work fantastic except Xcode 4. I have one or two issues where it would force quit, but other than that, it's been fantastic. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much all my apps have worked. I haven't really had any force close issues. Um, so if you're worried about that um, and you're running some applications that run great on uh, Snow Leopard and you're not 100% sure if they're going to run line, just go ahead and make the update. I'm telling you, they're going to work fine. And if for whatever reason it doesn't, I'm sure the developer, if they're keeping up to date with their application, will work on it and fix it ASAP. And if they're not keeping up to date on the application, then um, you know, find a spare machine or just don't update altogether if you're really relying on one application. One thing I do want to add about application support is um, the lack of Rosetta in 10.6. Beef, I mean on 10.7. Right? I'm sorry, 10.6. 10.5 had the ability to run power PCs, or I should say 10.6 had the ability to run power PC programs. 10.7 drops Rosetta completely. So um, if you use a power PC program, I don't really have any on the top of my head. You're going to A, either going to want to go to update that program to a uh, later version or find an alternative because you are not going to get support with Rosetta. Everything else though. If it was made to run on Snow Leopard, will run online flawlessly. Like I said, if there's any bugs, I'm sure if the developer is keeping up to date, we'll update it. The uh, next thing I want to talk about is Mission Control. So basically, Mission Control is much like Expose, except fine-tuned and more useful, to put it simply. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll just open up my calendar. We'll open up. I don't want to open up programs that are going to be too... Uh, take too much time to open up and we'll put FaceTime and we'll just wait all right us. guys sorry about that um had to stop my video for a minute my uh, little brother came in and it was kind of important 
So back to the video, like I was saying, if you have a uh, desktop, I mean, if you have a program that you want to run by itself and a, um, you want it to be in its own location because it um, has a lot of components to it or, you know, you just you want to be uncluttered when you're using it. Very simple in mind. You do a four finger swipe up and drag the program over. So we're going to take Final Cut Pro. Just drag it over to uh, the desktop area over here and you'll see a little... Uh, <clears throat> see through desktop pop up with a plus sign you're going to drag it over and then we you'll have the ability to access your desktop with a three finger uh, swipe up or by scrolling through them the uh, next thing i want to talk about is um you also have the ability to move them around as you can see you can uh move them so they are in different parts oops whatever so um, if you need to move them over here or whatever you have to really do, you can ha you have the ability to move them over. So you have fully full control of mission control. That's kind of funny. Um, then next thing I want to talk about is full screen applications. I'm not going to get too, too um, into depth with it. But basically what full screen application does is what it sounds like. It makes your application full screen. So there are no... Um, the uh, status bar goes away, there's no dock, and there's no f desktop in the background. And basically how you do that is not every application will support it, but the applications that do support it are going to have a little arrow in the corner. And all you're going to do is click that arrow. It's going to minimize your desktop and it's going to bring you to this. And then if you need to get up here, you can just go up here. And you can hit this button over here and it will minimize it back to uh, bring you back to the desktop. Or um, you can really access anything you need to do about here. And like I said, there's no access to your dock. Um, and now I will get into, because um, I, I will get into how you navigate full screen. So we will start at desktop one right now. So this is basically nothing's on this desktop. Um, with a four finger switch uh, swipe, you are going to go left or right. Left will bring you to your widgets, um, as you see widgets. Uh, Monday got my got my battery health. Got you know just some basic stuff that I use on a daily basis. Swipe over once more, uh, going in the right direction this time, and it will bring you back to your original place. Swipe over again, and now we are at the um, the desktop right we created earlier. This is desktop number two. Um, swipe over again. It will bring us to the iCal app that I just opened. Swipe over again. This will bring us over to the application. This will bring over to the Apple website. Swipe over one more time. It will bring you to my iTunes. Swipe over again. It will bring you to our video I'm exporting. And it pretty much goes on and on and on. And as more applications are given full screen abilities, the more applications you're going to have. And before you know it, Going like this will be the easiest way to access your your pages. Very, very nice feature, I think. So um, let's go back to, we'll go right here just to make sure that I've touched everything. So I've gotten Launchpad. The App Store I haven't touched upon yet, but the App Store has been around since 10.6. Um, if you're going to be updating to OS X Lion, you are obviously going to be needing 10.6.8. If you do not have 10.6.8, then you're not going to be able to download Lion. Now, um, what I recommend is if you want to do a clean restore, I'm not going to actually get into that too much right now because this is not that review, but you're going to want to download it to 10.6.8. Let's just leave it at that. The next thing I want to talk about is resume. So let's open up a text document. There's a text edit. We'll open and we'll type in, hi, my name is Bob. We uh, save it once. And... Oh, that's not good. We'll just type in Bob and we'll save it. And now we'll go ahead and we'll open a new one. And open a new one. Open a new one. And we now will go down here and say your computer has a sudden forced quit of this application. It will quit out of everything. And you're probably going, oh no, my name is Bob is gone. No need to fear. Just going to go to text edit and it will bring back every single thing that you had opened before so as you see my name is bob is still there the df document i did and then you have the two untitled ones that are you know untitled uh this will also help me show you the uh versions application 
So we'll scroll open and as you can see, you have the ability to see all of your applications and you can drag them around. So, um, oops, but uh, yeah, so you have the ability to organize these so you have a more clean area and you can just, like I showed you earlier, you can drag them over to um, different desktops. You can't drag them over to applications, but you can drag them over to desktop. So if you have a desktop two you want to drag over it, Word, Note, you can drag them over. And then obviously I have this one in desktop one. So as you saw, we dragged them over to desktop two. And now uh, I don't want to save. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the versions and resume. Auto That was also autosave. Um, autosave version. Um, now, the mail app, I can't get too much more into, mainly because I have some sensitive information in the mail app that I can't really talk about. But um, it is the iPad mail app to a T, pretty much. Much more open, much cleaner, much, much, much nicer. Um, now, we'll finally just go ahead and finish this video off with some multi gestures. Um, now they, uh, multi gestures are now taken advantage of much more than ever. Oops. Um, and basically, if you don't know them, you're going to go to trackpad. And now uh, a three swipe up with three fingers will bring up mission control. A swipe left or right with three fingers or finger fingers will bring up your applications or your full screen apps. A swipe between two pages, I guess if you're reading a book, will bring up, um, I didn't know about that, will bring up uh, different pages and then spread to show the uh, the desktop. You're just going to take your three fingers and pinch out and it will clear everything out of the way. Um, and then if you want to access that, just go ahead and click over. And then finally, App Expose, for some reason I switched, I mean skipped, it is um, pretty much that. So it's a three finger swipe down. And if you had applications open, it would show. Um, and then obviously you can go ahead and just customize all this stuff if you want to have the ability to point I mean just tap on the glass trackpad without having to click and all that good stuff so I hope this was helpful if you have any questions let me know expect line in the next couple weeks like I said earlier leave a comment below but for Apple Fanatic this is me saying